and we are here to give the best for the people of boxing. And we are as a new promoter, we are encouraging the young boxers like Mika. He's been to the world with amateur boxing fights. We even get boxers from New Zealand, we have boxers from uh, you know, PNG, and a boxer from Morocco as well. Hello, Naka. Welcome to the Time Sports Show. A great of uh, week of boxing ahead. We have uh, with us an FMF Boxing Series, the second of the three-part series that uh, was initially planned, and uh, under the two I Boxing Promotions, we have some great uh, bouts coming up this Saturday at Prince Charles Park in Nandi. Of course, Winston Hill taking on uh, Dylan Acha, our very own Winston Hill from Suva, taking on New Zealand's Dylan Acha. They'll uh, be uh, fighting for the PBC Oceania Regional Super Welterweight Title. That's a 10 by 3 minute round. Everyone looking forward to that one. Winston Hill, of course, uh, undefeated in his uh, early professional career, we can say. And he's looking forward to uh, take on Dylan Archer. A great uh, boxing draw card up for uh, up to be watched. The Ronald Naidu taking on Chesse Ravundi. That's a big one as well. The welterweight title of Fiji will be on the line. Ronald Naidu defending his title. Uh, the man from Nandi Naidu that he is will be taking on the man from Naita Siri, Chesse Ravundi. And then we have Junior Binu Singh taking on Ritesh Gounder. Uh, that's something to look forward to as well. Uh, Junior Binu Singh, a champion boxer. Four titles he's got under his name, national titles. Uh, he'll be taking on Ritesh Gounder. That's a bantamweight uh, uh, bout. And then we have uh, a world champion boxer, Mikaele Ravalada. Uh, he's uh, one of the guests here with us today. He'll be up against uh, Papua New Guinea Stadius Katoa, a very great boxer he is. And uh, he's got a name for himself in the Pacific. Uh, fought uh, at the Olympic Games two times as well. Very experienced boxer coming in with a lot of experience. And he'll be up against uh, Mikaele Ravalada, a man who has recently made a, a name for himself in the boxing ring at the World Championship. He's the first Fijian boxer to win a fight at the World Championship. And uh, what a great achievement that is. Uh, uh, Mika, welcome to the show. Uh, Alan, uh, the promoter, Alan Kumar as well. Welcome to the show. Thank you for taking our time. Uh, two days out from, uh, two to three days out from uh, the promotion itself. Uh, Alan, we'll start with you. Uh, how has the build-up been uh, to your second promotion? Uh, first of all, I have to thank this, uh, 22 for three times, three times uh, media partner as well, and always supporting boxing. And you've seen from first series till now, they have done a marvelous job to reach the people out in Northern Fiji or the upper specific in the world to the media coverage. Thank you, three times for being here. Uh, <coughs> this program is built to be Battle of the Pacific. And uh, after doing the first one in Suba in June, and now we focus in Nandi Pinches Park. Uh, the atmosphere, the bouts, the boxes, the uh, fans, there's a lot of hype among this promotion. And uh, as studio is uh, countdown begin from today to Saturday, come the fight the night. Uh, there's a lot of bouts that is talk about that's on our card and uh, that is talk of the town they born. I wouldn't say it's a blockbuster or mega bout, but I will just say we are here to give the best for the people of boxing. And we are as a new promoter, we are encouraging the young boxers like Mika. He's been to the world amateur boxing fights. We have the boxers from New Zealand, we have boxers from uh, you know, PNG, and a boxer from Morocco as well. So it's a battle for best pick, and uh, this is a uh, we have done our part, we have done all the matchmaking, we have done our logistics. We are set for now. It's for the time for boxers to showcase their skills and for the fans to come out in numbers and purchase their ticket through the gate and watch the witness the battle of the past uh, by themselves. Mm. Mika, there's a lot of people who want to hear from you. You created a, a fan base of your own after after that uh, heroics we can say at the world championship. Uh, uh, Thaddeus Katoa, a very good boxer coming in uh, from Papua New Guinea. He's got a few bouts, he's got a few wins under his belt as well. Your thoughts on uh, facing this Papua New Guinean boxer? Yeah, for me, it uh, doesn't bother me. Uh, he's an Olympian champion or even a world champion, I, it doesn't bother me. Because I train hard every day. Uh, I, you know, like uh, thinking of my my future too. And I work hard every day, train no day off. And that's why I believe in my, myself. And this is going to be a very good fight. I'm going to show him. Uh, there's some good boxers too in Fiji. Speaking about the future, uh, you're one of those few boxers who train every day, who's, who's uh, taken uh, boxing as a livelihood. Uh, you, you, uh, you do everything regarding boxing. Uh, uh, there's a very, there's very few boxers in the country left who, who take boxing as, a, you know, as, as a job. Who's uh, looking at boxing as a, as a professional career. Uh, how big of this fight will be, uh, you know, as a stepping stone into your career, heading into bigger fights in the future? Uh, for me. Yeah, that's uh, true. Uh, some of uh, our boxing fiji 
and they do that uh, in in their job like uh, like me. Yeah. It's my job every day, and uh, it's a fight. I'm gonna take it seriously, and that uh, it won't be easy. If he come, if he if he thinks he, he gonna win the fight, uh, that's very hard for him to win the fight because I'm prepared for it and I'll fight for my country too. It's my hometown in Nandi. Because you're fighting in the super featherweight category, there's uh, there's a few categories uh, weight, uh, weight categories that you fought in already. Uh, that's a clear indication, I think that. Uh, I wouldn't say that there are not boxes left in your category, but there's a uh, there's words you've said it before as well. People are scared to fight you. There's people with uh, uh, national titles who you've challenged before, but they do not want to take uh, take that challenge. Uh, your your thoughts on that? I think uh, if uh, like if there is a champion, if they think they are champion, uh, they should fight anyone. They don't have to like cherry picking. That's all I said. Uh, they don't have to pick their opponent. If they want to, if if they want to be a champ, they should fight the best. Mm. That's why, for me, that's uh, how I think. Uh, if I want to be the champ, I should fight the best. Mm. Ellen, as a promoter, uh, Mika has challenged uh, Nathan in the past. We've heard his challenge Junior been <coughs> in the past as well. As a promoter, how difficult is it to uh, get those matches on? Uh, all the boxers, they have all own team management to look after the boxers. Uh, is like when it comes to the table to discuss and negotiate, uh, <coughs> Fiji boxers are very particular in on their records because uh, everybody will do intake, keep the uh, record of uh, win intake, uh, not to lose. And <coughs> in say Smika went to the um, world championship and his caliber of boxing, the style he's using, the training every day, people are taking precautious measures, the team, to see if the right time to jump in. Like he challenged Binu Singh and Nathan Singh, and their votes among each other and the camp and this social media. Uh, <clears throat> but for us as a promoter, it's, it's a challenging job. But uh, I know uh, time will come. Binu Singh can be, they want to do a media release about this fight, another fight with Samuel Ramanuch, it will be maybe coming after a few weeks' time. I think they are ready to take this challenge. What they are saying to me is ask Mika to come the right weight. If he makes that weight, they are ready to face the, him for the title fight. So Vinu is okay. Nathan is going to overseas, so yeah, he's making his name there. But what I'm going to say, to come back to the point, this is the fight we given to Mika. A good fight, a balanced fight, people won't say to complain. If he makes his name, he wins, his record will jump towards a good point in terms of record. Then he is capable of challenging others. Now people are saying he don't have a good record. Why should I fight him? What will I get? Right? This is there few days to go he has said he's ready so Casey boxes are ready we can do it next time in coming years we can do it. definitely will happen mm. Miga coming back to you before we go into a break a uh, final question uh, the transition from amateur boxing to professional boxing you made a name for yourself in, uh, in the amateur arena and now you've headed into the professional uh, arena after the world championship of course I guess the timing was just perfect for you you've got uh, the whole boxing uh, media the boxing people uh, with their eyes on you how has the transition been and how have you seen uh, you know the differences coming from uh, amateur boxing to professional boxing yeah like uh, amateur boxing for that uh, three minutes you don't have to waste your time like you're going for it uh, no waste time inside there for that three minutes and three rounds you don't have to waste time for professional you can like i say you can fight here you're going somewhere then you come back that's you know i like uh, like uh, you know the, the the pace and all different you can take your time and think about your and the amateur no you have to think fast and do the uh, like Everything you do in a fast way, you don't have to be lazy, and it's mm -hmm. uh, different between M and Pro. Okay, well, there you go for now. Uh, it's uh, Mika Ravalada and Alan Kumar. We'll talk more about boxing uh, when we get back after the break. We were around when the deed was first signed, we were around when the first car engine roared, we were around when the very first was crowned through devastations jubilant celebrations and the milestones. We will continue to be around to bring you all the stories,
first. Welcome back. You're watching Time Sport, and uh, today we're talking about boxing, the FMF boxing series. That's on this Saturday at uh, Prince Charles Park in Nandi, the home of boxing. And uh, today we're talking to uh, a world champion, uh, amateur level boxer, Mikael Ravalala, who will be uh, taking on uh, uh, Thaddeus Katoa, a Papua New Guinea boxer in the professional boxing arena uh, this Saturday. Uh, promoter Alan, uh, once again, Winston Hill versus Dylan Acha. Uh, very good fight, people are talking about it. Uh, it's uh, for a title shot as well for Winston. Uh, he's been progressing well. Your thoughts on uh, this fight? We've uh, talked about it before, but uh, heading into it with uh, two days out, uh, how, how has the response been from both boxers and of course fans uh, regarding this title uh, main bout? Uh, Winston has been very well followed in Fiji and uh, transition from amateur to professional. His last two fights undefeated. Dylan Acha had four fights undefeated as well. And Dylan Acha actually fought two Fijian boxers in his backyard and he knocked them both of them. So Winston said, Come to Fiji and take that revenge, and he's ready. On the other hand, we just spoke to Dylan Acha last week and SP him, it would be an eight round knockout. He's predicting an eight round knockout. But Vincent said, I'm ready. And this is for the fans. Us as a FMF sponsored uh, series, we are making it possible for fans to bring PBC title first time to Fiji. PBC title is uh, uh, the belt that is compete against the Pacific region. So if Winston Hill wins this one, he has to go and defend in New Zealand next year. And with this belt comes two officials from New Zealand and two officials from Fiji to officiate. So he said, the decision doesn't go to the bias of anyone. This is not hometown decision. So we look after every avenues. For the fans, this is the fight, you know, Kaliba Winston Hill, and this is a stepping stone for him and uh, a blessing for him for fighting in a TYU boxing promotion. First fight he fought was a for Fiji title. The second fight is fighting for the Oceania title. I joked with him and said, Ted, maybe for the world title. So <laughs> there's a blessing. And for the fans, you know what uh, the fight is all about. Come out now, numbers support Winston and Dylan as well. And uh, we are very surprised to see our online ticket first. Uh, Few tickets were bought for New Zealand, uh, or from overseas uh, boxing fans uh, for New Zealand actually. So this was spectators are coming from overseas as well. Mm. The second one on the card, Ronald Nidal versus uh, Chesi Rahudi, it's for the World Tour title of Fiji. A big one, I would say. Uh, both boxes uh, having a roller coaster of a record uh, recently, but both coming off wins uh, in their last fight. Uh, redemption time for both. Uh, the loser, who knows. Could uh, be on you know on the ending side of their career, but the winner will uh, obviously revive their boxing careers. So a big one for uh, both Naidu and uh, Ravundi. Yes, it's a we call it a decider. Eh? It's a title fight. I said decider. Both have fought twice. First one was won by Ronald Naidu. The second was won by Jesse Ravundi in seven round knockout. But as for Ronald Naidu, he went and fought on Chase's weight, the 69 kg. So this is the first time he's coming down to 66 kg. So it's his advantage of uh, Ronald Nadu, that's his weight advantage. Jesse on the other hand, I spoke to him yesterday. He's ready, training in Hills of uh, Nate City. He's coming down to Subatone training with the other gym here and to get ready for the, on Saturday. Uh, this is that bout people are talking about. And uh, you know about uh, skillful, very much uh, experienced. And uh, on the hand is the title fight. Uh, I won't I actually, as a promoter, can't predict which way to go, and I said this is one of the best fight of, local fight of the night will happen, and uh, when the best man win. Mm. We've talked about Junius uh, Binu Singh and Rites, uh, Mika and Thaddeus. Ratu Rakuro versus Messi Marawara. A very good one as well. Uh, interesting uh, news coming out uh, earlier this week. Uh, Ratu, of course, losing his son, uh, two month old mm -hmm. son, two, two, two year old son, two months ago. That's big uh, coming out uh, from that big tragedy and uh, ready to fight a boxer like Messing Warawar. He was undefeated in Fiji until his uh, uh, last fight with Nathan. So that's something to look forward to uh, for the fans as well. Yes, as I said, this is a battle of the best pick. And um, this, this is the second time we're getting Warawar to Fiji. Uh, Rokuro have fought so many boxers and uh, he's actually fought a Sebastian Singh as well. And have a good record of win and lose as well. Uh, sad part of what the setback have uh, pulled him down, but he said this is the strength for me, and uh, he's ready to face uh, Warawara come on Saturday. Warawara is arriving tomorrow, and he's all set to take on uh, Rakuro. And uh, it will be a class of skills, style, and uh, it will be boxing uh, people uh, defense with the something new that you will see because uh, Rakuro have promised me that something extra coming from him. It will be. Same old Lokuro, different Lokuro this time. 
and to fight against one of it is something uh, you have to be prepared and uh, both boxers are prepared to give Fiji boxing fans something to see mm. towards the bottom of uh, your draw card i think uh, it's uh, it's a uh, it's an understatement that semin dalaloma and isira rang is towards the bottom uh, heavyweight bout uh, both very good boxers uh, in the heavyweight category. Uh, that's uh, something to look forward to as well. And uh, a redemption time again for Semi Dalaloma after after his uh, recent performances. Yes, uh, actually we had to put Semi with Kavika, but Kavika pulled out uh, due to some reason. But uh, Isira came in, and uh, Semi aim is to go back and fight with James Singh for the title, and this is a stepping stone for him. And uh, so that's why we said this is better of the press pick and better of the local boxers. Uh, what I need to tell the public is we very much understand as a society in beginning it's not a blockbuster or mega program. What we have done, we have got a good fights on top, we've got upcoming fights at the bottom. It's not new boxes, it's not people who don't want to see. We are giving chance to these people. The time these people will tire, these people will come and take over. So we can't be putting all top boxes. So this is the same, we have a good chance to make a name, a get his name, and come and challenge Kabi Kandidat after the go for a trial fight. And you can see Junior Joely, Joely's son is back in our lineup as well. And we have Manna from Sentoka, we have uh, boxers from Bar, Lotoka. So, this is something you know, boxing fans, I, I uh, call it to you people, please come and support these people. All 10 bouts is equal to the main bout. So it's for the fans, FMF is sponsored it, 20 boxing promotion is bringing to you, and boxers are ready. Obviously, boxers are, uh, started arriving from yesterday, they'll be here by Friday. The wedding is on Friday. Saturday 5 p.m. the fight starts and the bell links it's just for the boxers and the fans to witness the atmosphere the epic battle the battle of the best pick mm. final question uh, Ellen uh, the last promotion we had uh, not your promotion the last boxing promotion we had in Fiji the main bout started at around 1 a.m. no boxer trains after midnight uh, no boxer is ready to fight at midnight or after midnight uh, that's that has come from a few boxes uh, is timing something that you'll be looking at as uh, we people wouldn't want to uh, wait till uh, 12 a.m. or uh, 1 a.m. to see Winston uh, fight Dylan who will be half asleep by then? Uh, that's a very good point. Uh, from the day one when we launched Dwayne Boxing under FMF, I always say to the media and the public, there's two brand names we always carry, FMF and Dwayne Boxing Promotion. That's JD Dwayne. We always see we are professional, we uh, deliver what we promise, and to the standard, you've seen the June program, it was on time. Everything was epic, the light, the sound, the timing, the boxers were happy. We look after boxers very well, we pay them well. And it's not for this, we look after them for the future as well. We provide them everything that they desire, they need. We see the fans, they come on time, because it's Nandi, they turn back to Suba. So it starts 5 p.m., our time is 9, 10, 10.30, that's it, max 10.30, we'll finish the program. And I have a very good team, they have, they are well organized, well trained. They're going to coordinate the program in such a way that the fans and the people who are waiting for this, we're going to enjoy it, do the best. Thank you, and uh, back to you, Mika, before we wrap things up. Uh, I know you're pretty excited about this fight, uh, but uh, heading after this fight, uh, well, the challenges have been thrown before as well. Uh, but what are your plans uh, you know, uh, going on after this fight? Uh, for me, this is not a disrespect to for the local boxing in Fiji. For the title holder, <coughs> uh, who's the name? Binusi, Binusi, and for me, it doesn't uh, Nathan doesn't bother me because he don't have any title. But uh, I look forward for Binusi because he's uh, hiding from the valley of Singatok. I want to challenge him after this fight, and uh, if if he's a champion, he should uh, he should uh, accept my challenge. He should fight me stop uh, picking his opponent and uh, like dodging around because uh, that's not uh, for uh, uh, like a good experience for him if he, if he think uh, if they thought uh, I'm uh, not a good boxer uh, first they should uh, don't underestimate me they should fight me because it's my second second uh, national title uh, I mean yeah uh, one, uh, both from two, from from my f uh, fight uh, from overseas, and what's the use of uh, a boxer in Fiji? We should, uh, you know, before we went to overseas fight from overseas, we should fight a local boxer first. Uh, only uh, the problem I, I I know the problem is because they picking their opponent, they don't want to fight me. They don't want to fight the best. 
Uh, after this, uh, this fight, uh, I want to challenge Benusi. Mm. He's, uh, he's, uh, as uh, Alan said, uh, he's uh, taking out a statement very soon. Uh, if you were to fight him, uh, what what category or what title uh, would you want to challenge him? Like before, he fought uh, Frazen Ali on 57 kg. First, I want to fight on 57 kg. He's fighting lots of old men. Uh, I think these uh, all those old men they should retire now. He should uh, he should fight the uh, young boys, come, uh, upcoming boxer in Fiji. Uh, that's a good uh, fight too. I promise. All right, uh, Mika, uh, Alan, thank you so much for taking up your time. I know you guys have a busy schedule and I hear you will be off to Nadi after this. Uh, all the very best for your fight, uh, Mika, Alan, for your promotion. Uh, we wish you the very best. And uh, remember to grab a copy of the Fiji Times uh, tomorrow, of course, daily, to grab uh, your latest news on boxing and every other sports that's happening around. Uh, follow our social media pages as well for the latest on the two-way boxing promotions. That's this Saturday. We'll uh, uh, try and uh, get you the live updates from their videos uh, and uh, updates as it happens. And uh, till we meet again, Nisa Mozart.